Hello everyone! My name is Jennifer Stay. This is little Rose right here and today we're going to do something a little different. I was on Facebook the other day and an ad came up to get a free sketch box. Dun, 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 dun. So I decided to go for it. I've never gotten a sketch box before. I've gotten other art supply subscription, subscription boxes before, but this is the first time I've done a sketch box. I believe I had to pay shipping for it, but the box itself I got for free. And then I had to remember to unsubscribe so I didn't get another box the next month. Um, because I wanted to look into this before deciding whether I wanted to keep up with the subscription. Now, Miss Rose. They want to see me unbox this box, and you are not laying down. Do you want to get down? Is that what it is? I guess she doesn't want to be part of this video, so we'll say goodbye. Say bye, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> I'll be right back, and we'll unbox the sketch box. All right, I took Rose downstairs, and now we can unbox the sketch box. Before we get started, I wanted to mention that I am not sponsored by Sketchbox. In fact, I would recommend that you don't order a Sketchbox until you see to the end of this video. That way you'll be able to see if it's something that you want to do. The way Sketchbox works, you go to GetSketchbox.com and it's a monthly art subscription box with um, painting and drawing art supplies. They don't ship just the supplies though, we teach you how to use them. So we'll see how they do that in here. And it says it makes a great gift. There's different boxes you can pick from. It looks like there's a basic or a premium. I believe this is the basic box that I got. And then you can decide if you want to subscribe for just one month or six months or a year and you get little discounts for um, longer subscription length. Okay, so then it just goes on and shows some of the art that people are making with their sketch boxes, but I wanted to show you their website so you would know where to go if you would like to try this. We've got some art here on the front by Pam Schmaltz, and it says if you want your art on the boxes, use the supplies in this box and tag us with at get sketch box. So that's how she ended up, Pam Schmaltz, I think is how you say her name, how she ended up with her art there on the front. Okay, let's cut into this box and see what we got. I think this is the February box, but I don't know. We'll find out here in just a minute. Okay, got some tissue paper. Um, Oh, I see some goodies in here. Okay, let's open this up here and see what we've got. First off, a Derwent box. Sketchbox Ink Tents. Ooh, I love Ink Tents pencils. I have the full set of Ink Tents, so I may gift these to a family member. Ooh, some pretty colors here. We've got a couple purples some green, a red, and a yellow orange. Very pretty color palette. Look at how pretty those are together. Okay, that's the first part of the sketch box. Um, here we have another thing. Ooh, an Inktense paint pan set. Permanent, so it's the same stuff that's in this box here, the pencils only in pan set. And in fact, I've got an upcoming video planned where we we compare these two products and kind of talk about the advantages and disadvantages of these two products and when you should use one or the other. So if you're interested in seeing that video in the near future, just make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss a future video. Okay, let's see how they did this. Oh my goodness, it really is just a tiny little pan set. Look how adorable is that. Do they fall out? Yeah, they'll fall out, so you gotta be careful. But they're just six little pans in a tiny little tray for us to experiment with. Looks like we've got a blue, red, and yellow, a green, and I'm not sure what color. Let's see. Payne's Gray and Red Oxide are the last two. So that's really a cute little thing to get in this box. 
All right, now we get a paintbrush. This is a Princeton Select blender, half inch, and it's, um, I think they call it a filbert when it's shaped like this. Comment below, did I get that right? Is this a filbert shape? I'm looking to see. There might have some more information in the literature inside the box, so we'll see. Oh, look at the cute little sticker. It's a, a, a copy of the little palette here. <laughs> cute sticker. Okay, and then we've got here, this is watercolor paper, 290 grams per meter squared or 135 pound, and they're little four by sixes, so they are postcard size. That would be so fun to paint them up and send them out to someone as a surprise. So is that the end of it? Just some tissue paper here in the bottom of the box. And then we've got two pieces of literature. One is this really pretty piece of art. And it's by Lana Glosschat, based in Salt Lake City. So she's here in Utah, where I live. She received a BFA in drawing and painting at the U of U, went on to complete master's degree, secondary education at University of Missouri. Uh, is deeply inspired by nature and loves to play with color. Look how pretty that is cool piece of art. One more card here. It talks about all the products we received. The six pencils, premium vibrant water soluble ink pencils. And it is ink, so it's supposed to um, be permanent once it dries, um, although there's some issues with that. And we'll talk about that. Um, then the ink tense pans. Oh, so they're valuing those six pencils at $20. And they're valuing the little pan set at um, also $20. And then this is the Princeton Half Inch Lunar Blender, a synthetic paintbrush to create delicate washes and blend out lines with the ink tense materials in this month's box. And then we have our watercolor paper. And then it says, do you need a little direction to get going this month? Use this prompt, change, to get your creative energy flowing. The word change. Okay, let me think about that for a minute because I do want to create a piece of art. I'm going to go wash off the um, sizing that they, I think it's, no it's not sizing, it's a, a kind of glue that they put on the bristles to keep them safe and protected during shipping. So I'm going to go wash that off, get some water, we'll crack into this pad of of watercolor paper and we'll start creating some art while we talk about whether this is a good investment or not. Okay I did some quick math to see if I agree with their math here for the values of the products in the box. The ink tense pencils, you can get one ink tense pencil on dickblick.com here in the United States as of the day of filming of this video for just $1.75 per pencil. So I would think that's about twice too high as far as what I can get the products for. I can get six pencils for around $10 or $11. The ink tense pan set, however, I can get the individual pans for $4.09. For six of them, that comes to $24.54. So I think they've um, undervalued the cost of the ink tense pan set because it's also in a cute little tray. So I would think that's worth maybe $20, $27 ish about for that set. So that kind of washes out those two as far as the differences that I think there is in the value. The Princeton Lunar Blender Brush I can get for about $7, so that's about right. And then the um, paper here that they've included, I think that's a very fair evaluation for, or not evaluation, valuation for that paper. They're saying it's worth about $7. So I think that's really fair from what I saw online. So I think their prices are close, except for the ink tense pencils, but that could do with um, time of year, whether the pencils are on sale and where you are in the world. So that was how I would value it. And of course, then there's value of having them all put together in one nice box. You get a sticker, some inspirational art. Um, so there's some value in that as well. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the watercolor paper here and see what it feels like. It says that it's um, part cotton and part agave fiber, which I've never felt paper that has agave fiber before. It says it's acid free. Um, this paper comes in from Germany. Okay, let's see what this feels like. Oh, it's very nice, very thick. Has a slight texture to it as you would expect. It's a very nice paper. Okay, so let's start out by just kind of goofing around, playing around with this and see what the products will do. Grab the squirt bottle here and I've got a paper towel. So let's get this ink tense paint wet and going here and I've got some water available. I did a little bit warm water and um, that usually helps get the rest of that glue. I have never seen a brush have so much protective glue in it when you first purchase it. That was crazy the amount of glue on there. So let's go ahead and swatch our colors. We'll start with green like this. Ooh, beautiful. Look at it flow and go. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, then we'll do the yellow. So the colors here are, um, they're calling that hooker's green. This is sun yellow. Whoa. That is a potent paint. Of course, it's ink. Um, so it won't act exactly like watercolor paint, but it's close. This, I think, was the red oxide. Again, just look at it go. That's amazing. Okay, and did this ever say what month this was for? I don't think it did. <laughs> okay, then let's try the red, which they're calling Poppy Red. Ooh, pretty red. Very pretty. Oh, get all that out of there. Next up we have, um, let's do the blue, which is, actually they're calling it turquoise. Oh yeah, that's a pretty turquoise. Really pretty. Clean that brush out. Okay. And finally, our Payne's Gray. Love a good Payne's Gray. Wow. <laughs> I can't wait to do my upcoming video where we swatch a whole bunch of this paint just like this and do some more art with it. Can't wait. Okay, so that's the pans. Let's let that dry and we'll label the color names and everything here in a minute. Uh, let's grab another piece of paper. All right, and let's test out the pencils. There's so many different ways to use this type of pencil. The water-soluble pencils are so much fun. You can just color with them, just like you would a regular pencil. You can activate the things you colored with water, or you can um, pre-treat the paper with water, and then you can draw into that, or you can get your brush wet and tap onto the end and use it like a pan and get color that way. 
so many different ways to use it. Okay, so let's start with, this is golden yellow number 0230. And I'm going to show, should we do all, let's see, I just mentioned one, two, three, four different ways. So let's go ahead and show the four different ways for each color. So I'll divide this in half. And then each of those in half. And we'll do um, color, activate, pre-treat, and paint. Okay, here we go. We'll start with the yellow, like I said, get some clean water on there. And we'll start by coloring, just color a nice little section here. I'll do heavy pressure to light pressure, just like that, so you can see it in its full potential. And then um, we'll color again here, and we'll activate this one, so I'll only color a little bit. And then grab our brush and activate this. You can see what color. I'm going to activate all of the ink and that paper is not standing up to that amount. That wasn't a whole lot of agitation I just did and it's pilling up a little bit. So we'll have to be really gentle with this paper. Okay, then the next is to pre-treat. So you get your paper wet like this. And then you color into that. Makes for a really pretty um, effect. And then we'll take our wet brush here and dab onto the end to pick up some of that paint, just like you would with a paint palette. And that's how it looks. Okay, I'm going to do all four of these for all six colors and let you watch that time lapse. Here is my sample card of all the different ways you can use this one tool. These pencils are so much fun and have lots of different ways you can use them. And like I said, I have an upcoming video about the Inktense products. And I'm going to be talking more, there's even more different things you can do with these pencils than what I'm showing here. So I highly recommend you subscribe so that you don't miss that out, miss out on that. Now, one thing I would critique is that they've given us two purples. Now, I am a purple girl. I love all things purple. Usually my hair is purple. <laughs> but um, in this situation, I wish we had a different color, another color. We've got yellow and blue and red, so we can make mixes. And then we've got green, but maybe a black would have been nice because that could give us some contrast. We could build in some shading and some shadows. So I think I would have recommended a black or a dark gray. Like in the pan set, they gave us a good variety. We've got um, yellow, blue, and red, so we can do some mixes. We already have a pre-mixed green and a nice pretty brown. And then they've given us this really pretty Payne's Gray so that we can do some shading. So um, that's the only critique I have about the tools they've given us. Um, I'm really in, impressed and excited. And I feel like these colors they've given us really want to be made into flowers. <laughs> I feel just feeling flowers from them. And that's one of the things that the artist here did this Lana. She did flowers with a butterfly and the keyword here is change. So I'm going to um, get out this here, do a little bit of sketching with my pencils and then we will create some art with our 
Sketchbox supplies. So give me a minute to sketch. To begin this little piece of art, I decided to just stick with some simple basic shapes and created some flowers using the different techniques I just showed you that these pencils can do. So some of them I drew on and then activated and some of them I painted on. But I wanted it to have feel full with lots of fun, basic, simple flowers. And now we can go back and add some details. Next up, I wanted to add some shading. So I wanted to use the Payne's Gray, but that brush they gave us just doesn't have the finesse I needed. So I reached for my cat's tongue that is half inch. It's part of the Lindsay Wyrick Craft Ammo paintbrush set that I unboxed a few months ago. I went through and added some gray to different places to add some depth, and it just makes everything pop a little bit more. Next up, let's add some green. To add the green leaves, I simply used the green pencil to draw some viney type lines, and then adding the leaves with the cat's tongue brush is so much fun and easy. I love that paintbrush. Now I want to add some details to those flowers, so let's carefully sharpen up these pencils and see what we can do. We desperately need some more white highlights, so I grabbed my Chinese Derwent Drawing White Pencil. Let's see if we can add some pops of brightness. To continue to help those flowers lift off this page and really pop, I'm using the dark green pencil to add some more shading around in where I did the Payne's Gray paint. Time for the finishing details. I'm going to add some white Posca paint pen and some splattering, and we'll see how it looks. Okay, I'm feeling really good about my little piece of art here, but it needs a little bling. So we're going to add some gold. This is the um, De La Rani FW Perlescent Bell Bronze color. It's an acrylic type ink paint. So much fun to use not even bothering with a brush. I'm just tapping on into the centers of each of those flowers a small amount. And then I'm gonna do a few more clusters of the gold. Okay, I'm quite pleased with this. Let me hit it with the blow dryer and we will dry it up real quick. All right, I think we'll put a name on it. I'll sign it right here in the center. Okay, let's take it off the book and take a peek at my piece of art. Um, so I sort of broke the rules by using the white pencil and the white Posca paint pen and then the gold at the end, but um, I don't care about rules like that. It's not like there's art police that are gonna come and get me. I had a lot of fun, more fun than I thought I would with this um, sketch box. 
of this sketch box was perfect for me because it had tools I was slightly familiar with, well, very familiar with, and I got to just play around and, and do something pretty simple. This is a pretty simple little drawing. It'll look really cute back on my wall if I want to put it up there. So I want to tell Sketchbox thank you for inspiring my creativity today. It was a lot of fun. And would I recommend the Sketchbox? I thought I was going to say no, but I think I'm going to say yes. <laughs> this has been a very creative refresher for me to hear some art tools, do some art with it. Um, there wasn't much of any instruction on how to use these tools. Maybe if I went to their website, and maybe there's more there, I'm not sure. But because I already was familiar with the tools, I felt very comfortable and very inspired to just dive in and do some art. So if you're looking for a way to add to your art stash and try some new tools, I think Sketchbox would be a fun thing to try for a few months and see what you get and see what kind of creativity it will inspire in you. So thank you for watching. I missed having little Rose here with me today, but it's okay. She can take a break from time to time, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone, and I hope you all have a wonderful, colorful, blissful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>